Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of Oyster Radio. So today, we have got gigantic news on the Pokemon trading card game. If you have even a passing interest in playing the Pokemon trading card game, this is a video you are going to want to pay very, very close attention to. Could you see, ladies and gentlemen, comebacks are back. Because for a while now, people have been bemoaning the lack of comeback cards. And then in this set, in Snow Hazard and Clay Burst, we have seen confirmation we're going to be getting Iono, which is the both players shuffle a hand and put it on the bottom of their decks, and then draw a number of cards equal to their remaining prizes. So if your opponent jumps into a big lead, you can put them down to a low hand size while having a much bigger hand size. This is a good comeback card. But we've got more, ladies and gentlemen. We've got more. And we need to start off here with Reversal Energy, because Reversal Energy is gigantic. Now, I did actually translate these myself, and this was a little bit of an awkward one, but I promise you, I promise you I did this myself. But I have checked with a lovely Antoine Boulet, from whom I also got the wording, but I promise you, I did this myself. While attached to a Pokemon, this card provides one colorless energy, nothing unusual here. Didn't even need to translate that, you could have got that from context. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponents, and this card is attached to an evolution Pokemon that does not have a rule box, it provides free of any type of energy instead. Oh. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Now, there's a lot of caveats here, okay? You must be behind on prizes, not tied. Behind. You must attach it to an evolution Pokemon, not a basic, and it must be an evolution Pokemon that does not have a rule box. This is very important. However, when you do, it's like free rainbow energy in one. This is absolutely ridiculous. And old school players and players that are fans of old formats might recognize this. It's scramble energy. Scramble Energy can only be attached to an evolved Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX, the then version of No Rule Box. Scramble Energy provides one colorless energy. While in play, if you have more prize cards than your opponent, it provides every type of energy, but only three in any combination at a time. Although, actually, no, it is slightly different, because Scramble Energy, if it ended up attached to an unevolved Pokemon or a Pokemon EX, it actually got discarded here... This will actually go back to just being a colorless energy. It stays on the Pokemon. But other than that, which is, a, I suppose, a pretty significant difference. But other than that one difference, this is literally scramble energy. And I, I don't need to tell you. If you've been playing in old formats or you were playing at the time, I don't need to tell you how big this is. This is absolutely gigantic. Because what this means is you can play a bunch of random evolution decks and go behind on prizes. And bearing in mind, evolution decks do go behind on prizes. That is what evolution decks do. And then you can attack this and go absolutely nuts. A bunch of attacks which were completely just non-starters before suddenly become particularly good. Now, I'm not going to go through every single option here because it's going to take way too long. We don't have that much time. But how about Magmortar? Magmortar and Electivire from Crown Zenith. Okay, they're not actually from Crown Zenith, but I'm using those ones from Crown Zenith because they're beautiful. You've got Magmortar, free energy, 120. If Electivire's on your bench, it does 240. That's 240 damage for a single energy. Uh, Electivire, for anyone who's wondering, does 50 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Spread 50. And again, we're spreading 50 for a single energy here. These are cards which nobody thought about really seriously using. Because they're too expensive and they use different kinds of energy. And it's just a pain. No one's going to be using them. And now all of us, and I'm not saying you should rush out and make this deck. I'm using them as an example of, this is a pair of cards that just not even remotely competitive. And now maybe with this, you can actually start playing around with dumb things like this. And that's kind of amazing. Oh, also, I should point out, uh, I'm kind of like in stage ones here. Because remember Zoroark is still a thing? 
So you can basically Zoroark into any stage one and you've got three colorless, well, three of any color, I should say, three of any color energy. So all of a sudden, if you want to be playing around with Zoroark and I've made it perfectly clear i made it abundantly clear since the moment that zoroark was revealed that i want to be playing around with that zoroark now all of a sudden not only can you swap zoroark with any stage one in your discard but you've now got an energy card that can provide free of any kind of energy this can get super super dumb super super quickly i mean how about the Wailord from Silver Tempest. Now, admittedly, it's still a four energy attack, which is a little bit sad. But now it's a three energy attack that does 240 damage on a 200 HP single prize Pokemon that takes 30 less damage from attacks. If you can accelerate any energy to this Wailord, now all of a sudden you can actually legitimately use this Wailord. And again, I'm not sitting here saying this Wailord is now broken. I am pulling out ridiculous examples of cards that you would never consider actually playing that now all of a sudden become potentially really, really good. The Arcanine from Silver Tempest does 200 damage to a Pokemon V, and that's now for a single energy. And I'm going to stop throwing out ideas here, but just to be clear, these are random examples, and basically you can keep going here. And this is what I love about this card. And honestly, there's going to be a... But every card now, every Stage 1 and Stage 2 non-rule box Pokemon from here on in is a candidate now for this being ridiculous. And I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely love it. I'm, a, I'm excited. I'm so excited about this card. And bearing in mind, this combo's really well with Iono. You know, your opponent goes down to like one prize card remaining. You Iono him to the single card, attach this, and now you're, you know, even like with a Waylord, all of a sudden your opponent's got one prize remaining, and you're sitting there with a Waylord hitting a consistent 240 turn after turn after turn. Yes. Oh, and I suppose I have to mention before we move on here, remember Terra Fortress EX? does actually have that rather amazing ability, lets you KO it, give up two prizes, and accelerate five grass energy from your deck, and then you're behind on prizes. So not only can you accelerate five energy from your deck, which is great, but you then also potentially activate this card if that's the kind of thing you're into. This is a flat out, hands down, no question, five Wassy card, and honestly, I would happily, happily give this more than five Wassies if my scoring system allowed for it. And admittedly, I made up the scoring system and I probably could, but I'm not going to and you can't make me. Point is, this card is absolutely spectacular. This is huge. You will see this card. There are going to be some very creative deck builders out there that are going to make this card. This and Iono, the pair of these cards... Comple and I mean this with no hint of exaggeration or hyperbole, completely change the way the Pokemon TCG can be played, and I am convinced people are going to take advantage of it. Now, there are a couple of other cards that have been revealed that work if you're behind on prizes. They're not as impactful, but we will have a quick chat about them anyway. The wonderfully named, this is what Antoine has translated it as, Motivational Lemonade. It is a card that can only be used if you've got more prize cards remaining than your opponent, i.e. you have to be behind on prizes in order for this to work. But then you get to heal 60 damage from one of your Pokemon. It's fine. As, as far as item cards go, it's fine. It's not great. I do think that is pretty important to note. It's fine. But an item card that can heal 60, that is better than other item cards we've seen around. You know, Potion heals 30. So, yeah. Th this is fine. It's decent. It's not great. And I don't think anyone out, out here arguing that it's great. But it's alright. Let's give it a solid between 3 and 4 Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. Like I've said, no, no one's arguing this is an amazing, stunning card. But also, you, re remember how we have control decks? that go behind on prizes because they're trying to deck your opponent out and they like to heal. They might like this. It seems like the kind of thing they could get involved with. 
It seems like something that could be pretty gosh darn good. It's cool. It's going to see some play. Some decks are going to make use of it. But I don't think it is an absolutely stunning card. And then one that I really, really like the look of is Luxray. Once during your turn, if this card is in your hand, and you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, you may put this card onto your bench. Cool. It is literally a stage two that you can play from your hand, but only if you're behind on prizes. But then look at the attack. Free energy, 180 plus 20 to yourself. Hang on a second. A card you can only play if you're behind on prizes that takes free energy? Wow. What could this possibly be doing here? It, it's, it's here for reversal energy. Like, it's blatantly here for reversal energy. And I'm here for this card. It hits a good weakness, which is very nice. And it's 120 for a single energy. It's awkward because you can only really play it if you're behind on prizes. You need to have this in your hand and you need to have the special energy. That's the only time it's ever really good is if you've got this and the special energy in hand at the same time. However, if you do, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is very nice indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a, a, a nice ordinary everyday run of the mill free wassies. This one could be better than we're giving it credit for. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me how excited you are. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon card games, Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus pods, join a Discord, chat with us, all kinds of fun things. Oh, and get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Mac DS, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now, and is a very, very lovely person. So thank you very much for all the support, and for being a very, very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.